Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of FTL. My name's DeadM5337, and we are getting ready to go and jump to Rebel Control. Yes. All right. So, once the Federation forces were scattered, the Rebels came down hard on the locals here. Between the tax collections and military bases, the Rebel presence in this sector is high. Continue. All right. Oh, store. Good. I was getting nervous about the weapons I have. When you discover a resupply station used by rebels and civilians alike, you transmit your fake ship identification, and for once, they don't seem to recognize your ship. You try to assume an error of a local as you prepare to dock. Continue. All right. Uh, crap. And more crap. Oh, this respiration. Um, might be funny to go and do boarding, but that's just that's just wasting uh spot, really. All right, we'll just buy fuel. Scrap recovery, little tan. Anything else worth doing? No. Jump. All right, we'll jump up. <clears throat> All right, rebel ship moves to engage and you attempt to open up communications realizing it's fully action Futility of that action when you see the ship is run by AI Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right Here's the case I'm going to stop reading this because I just want to bitch about my experience where I went and I went and ordered uh, Chipotle and don't take this as in you know Chipotle's crap or anything else it happens at every freaking store nice good stuff it doesn't matter where I go whether it's Subway McDonald's Burger King Taco Bell any freaking place I go I order the most basic bitch item on the menu it is it, if I'm going to Let's say McDonald's. It is the double quarter pounder with cheese. There is literally the one thing that is made in the store 800 times on your first day. You cannot mess this up. I go to Chipotle. I order a steak burrito. Um, hmm, what are we buying? So if we buy the crew teleporter, we can buy Chris Phillips. Put Chris Phillips in the shield room. That is fine. Now we have forever shields even against ion weapons. And uh, we just need more crew for the teleporter now. Nice. <clears throat> Um, so I went to Chipotle, I ordered a steak burrito, literally with cheese, and that's it. So if you've not been to Chipotle, they serve a burrito with your choice of steak or chicken, beans, which there's black beans or pinto beans, but if you don't specify, it's always pinto beans. And then they, uh, and then they have rice, uh, white or brown rice. Again, if you don't specify, it's always white rice. All right. Great. While you're not paying attention, go and fix that. Good job. Okay. Now we're just going to put you back in here because it doesn't matter where they go now. Boom. All right. Chip explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Um, so, again, I ordered the most basic thing specifically because I have had 
them mess up my order so often. And it doesn't matter who it is. Subway, it's literally meatball sub, I, meatballs and cheese. That's it. But Chipotle, we're back to Chipotle. I order the gosh darn sub, or the gosh darn uh, burrito, as it were. Get, uh, get there. Well, what happened was actually my daughter ordered it, so she ordered it online. Great, easy, whatever. When I get there, it'll be done and ready. So when you order online, they literally get a piece of paper with a list of the ingredients on there. So not only is it they don't have to remember what I said, they have a sheet of paper that says what I have. Meat, rice, beans, cheese, end of list. There, there's nothing else. Oh my goodness. I, I take it. I go and bring it home. Meanwhile, my wife, my kid, ever there's our, you know, I want some guac. I want some whatever, you know, whatever the freaking list is. Theirs is all special and individual. Both of theirs are freaking fine. I go, okay, great. I finally grab mine. I go to go and sit down at the computer and, you know, turn on some freaking YouTube and eat my burrito. I take one bite in it and immediately my mouth is filled with a unfamiliar taste. It's unfamiliar because I haven't tasted sour cream in freaking years intentionally. Because sour cream is disgusting. And guess what? It's still disgusting. Not only is there sour cream, but there is corn, there is tomatoes, there is lettuce, there is guacamole. They literally used every part of that second half of their freaking thing. The part of the freaking tray of stuff that they never have to touch if they're doing one of my orders because I don't use it. I order the basic bitch shit. Oh my freaking goodness. So now I'm freaking pissed because not only did you mess up, you messed up on the easiest order. So I just go, all right, can we cancel this and get my money back no I can't because I'm sure that there is a way but it's annoying and I don't want to freaking deal with it because it's too freaking hard because it's already filled and picked up and registered that was picked up so now my only option is to suck it up not eat and throw this piece of garbage out because that that's all it's good for or Go back to the store, complain, and seem like the asshole. I chose to go back to the store and seem like the asshole. Because I paid for this shit. Screw you, you're going to give me exactly what I actually ordered. Shipwreck's part, nice. Um, So I go back, and young young ladies sitting there at the uh, register. She helping another customer. Fine. I understand that. I'll let, you know, whatever. Um, I'm not going to throw a tissy fit that she's helping another customer. It's, it's her job. Whatever. I'll wait. So I sit there and I wait. In that time, I the time that I'm waiting, I more than realize that uh, she is not the one who made my food. Which is obvious because she's running the cash register. Okay. Not going to bother. It's it's just, just be calm with her. You know, it's not her fault. Just let her know what's going on and she'll make it right. 
I go and tell her, hey, you got my order wrong. It's just what? And she's like, oh, whose order did you get? And I'm just like, well, it says my name. You got the food that's in there wrong. Oh, so it was only just one sub or one uh, burrito? Yes. Okay, so what's wrong with it? And I show her the sticker with the list. Meat, rice, beans, cheese. That's it. And she goes, uh-huh. And I go and show her the burrito with my bite taken out of it. That is also spit into back into the wrapper. And I go, there's sour cream, there's tomatoes, there's corn. There's... And she looked back at me like, okay, so you got free stuff. What? What's wrong? And uh, the audacity of this little girl. Oh, my goodness. And again, when I say little girl, I don't mean, you know, short. I mean young. She looked like she could be freaking, you know, anywhere from 12 to 16. Judging by her working there, she's probably 16, 17 years old. But that doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is this little freaking snot is looking at me like, what's wrong? You got free stuff. <laughs> And I went and looked at her, and I'm like, this will make me sick. And all of a sudden, the world lit up in her little brain. Oh, people might order things on purpose so they don't die. Now, there's no chance of me dying. I'm not allergic to any of that stuff. It's just gross. But... She all of a sudden went, oh, okay, well, I'm going to have to take that to go and, you know, show that, you know, we, we made it and whatever, but, uh, you know, if you can just throw it back in the bag, I'll get you a new, you know, whatever. So she literally printed out the receipt that we, that she already did for the first time, circled my order and brought it over. To, and the guy looked at it like. How, how did somebody fuck this up? And I'm just like, I don't know. Your incompetence did it. But I didn't say nothing because I was just being nice, going to be pleasant. They're going to get me my food and whatever. But it, geez, every flipping time, this is not a new thing. And like I said, Chipotle just happened to be the uh, motor that went on through this one. It's happened at McDonald's, Taco Bell, uh, the Domino's. It doesn't matter. If I order basic baloney bullshit anywhere, one, they should frickin' be able to do it in their sleep. Unless, literally, I am showing up in the morning on that person's first day. That's it. There's a reason why I order the basic stuff. It's because they've done it 800 times on day one. Oh my freaking goodness. And so I get my food, you know, but ah, it happens all the freaking time. And these are the dummies they want to go and give $15 to an hour. Mother, do you got to be freaking kidding me? They can't even get a freaking order right. Four fucking things. And not only that, four, the four things have to go on every last one of them. Every burrito that ever existed. If it's steak, all four of those things have to go on there. There's no choice in the matter. Anywho, uh, 
I have no idea who's actually going to listen to this, but if you do, please be sure to go and leave a comment in there. Tell me, you know, that I'm an asshole or that uh, this has never happened to you or, you know, whatever. I don't care. Uh, let me know if I'm in the wrong. I, you know, whatever. It, I just, uh, I, it makes me feel just, uh, it, it makes me feel like I'm in the Truman Show. If you ever, if you don't know what that is, it's a movie back in the 90s. Uh, it, it, it's a fun little movie, but it's stupid. Anywho, be sure to go and like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun things. I'll see you guys next time when we head to pirate-controlled space. But until then, bye-bye. <laughs>